Welcome, my name is Ricky and this is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Today, we are going to be looking at the Dungeon Builder mode. I've done a little bit of it, but I haven't gotten too far into it, I don't think. So this is Dompe's Shack. You can access it, I believe, after the second dungeon? Or maybe the third dungeon, I don't remember. I've already beaten the game, by the way. Uh, so I have all the dungeons available to me. Anyway, okay, so let's talk to Dompe. Company's always welcome, yes, what are you here for? I am here to arrange, my good friend. So I've already done the first two. With some very simple dungeons, as you can see. This third one requires me to, appears to require me to have some sort of, um, like teleport section. And a key, so that's interesting, aside from that. But I'm gonna try and make a much bigger dungeon than I've made in the first, with the first two. That's kind of my goal for today. You can't play Chambers like our tiles, so upper right. Okay. Yes, so I'll have to make the stairs. That's that's why I thought, but okay, so we're gonna start with the entrance to the dungeon, which will be this. No, hang on, no. Um This one from the start of the game. And we're gonna put it here. Alright, and then we're just gonna make a nightmare room too. Which boss do I know? Okay, that's too easy. Alright, let's go with the bottle boss. It's the second dungeon. We're gonna put him up here. So, I have to connect this to here and then place a room in here. I don't have to put a room in either of these other ones. I just have to place a room here. I mean, I guess probably I do to connect everything together, but like I can place this here if I want, and then this here, and then that's done, basically. So you have uh, rooms with one door, two doors, three doors, and four doors. So I want, and you got lots of options because obviously the game is really big uh there's a mini boss right there if i wanted to do that from i think the last dungeon so most of the chests in this mode are filled with rupees and the rest of them are filled and then there's the whatever keys you need like there's a locked door here and so i have to place a door there it's and i'll need to get a key to that the last chest you open is the nightmare key no matter what so i'm gonna stop talking now and just build the rest of this so i'm back Dungeon's a little bit more complex than I've made in the past, but to be honest with you, I sort of kind of made it incredibly linear. So we start here, we can go over here and get a chest here, we gotta go up in here, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then there's this path that goes, yeah. It still wound up being kind of linear, I'm not super thrilled with it, but also, I don't really want to take too much more time, I mean it only took me about 5 minutes to make this, obviously. But uh, you do sort of start to run out of rooms. It's not like super hard. Like I still have tons of rooms left if I wanted to. So let's start playing this dungeon that I made. Go adventuring. So I don't, I'm not going to talk too much about my experiences playing this game. Yeah. Just so we're clear, don't need that at all. Just picked a random room. Pretty sure I didn't put any switches in there. Uh, but we need to go this way first. I think. But once The one thing I will say is I put a ton, a ton of bosses in this. Of mini bosses in this. For some reason, I thought it would be a fun idea to do that. So. In the game. I didn't mean to do that. But that would have been really good if it had gone away. In the original Game Boy game, which is maybe my favorite Zelda game. You played... Alright, I got one of the keys I need. Um, you played... You had two buttons, obviously. The Game Boy had two buttons. An A button and a B button. So you had to swap between... Which... That was that was a bad jump. You had to swap between which ones you wanted. Did you want the sword and the shield? Did you want the rock's feather and the power bracelet? Well, they've made a lot of the things in this game more passive. Shield is on um yes this drops a chest instead of just a key like it does in the actual game even though it's a key 
because I have several locked doors. So the, the Pegasus boots are on the left trigger slash bumper. The um, If you're thinking, this looks very familiar, it's because it's exactly the same as one of the other things. Okay, here we go. First mini boss. And it's actually the third time we fight this guy in the dungeon we fight him in. Press the correct button. Thank you. There we go. Jeez. So yeah, this mini boss is fought by slashing him with your sword. And then... By the way, the reason Link is in a blue tunic is because I the color dungeon. The color dungeon. Has, uh, um... You can pick between a red tunic and a blue tunic, and the blue tunic is more defense, so I take less damage. Um, I thought that was a good idea to have that I got after I beat all the other dungeons except the windfish. So you can see there's a chest here, chest here, chest here, chest in this room, chest up there. And a lot, most of these are going to be rupees, I think. Yeah, that was only a green rupee. But you can get purple rupees. I'm not really sure... How the game decides what oh second mini boss again from one of the last dungeons I say again this is actually from the last dungeon um here's a fun thing I didn't know when I played the game the first time and maybe you couldn't do it the first time uh, you can jump over him and also there you go now that I did think you like, you knew you could shoot him with an arrow Probably be over now if I was hitting him with my sword, but with an arrow, I can kind of, like, time the jump just right. Ooh! Fairy! Hang on. I don't remember there being bottles in the Game Boy game. I don't- I think these are new. Well, I have two keys, but let's take this down first. And enter into the 2D world. I don't know why I picked this particular one. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been the one that you have to balance. And I get... Ooh, a purple rupee! Now, so remember, the last chest I open will have the uh, nightmare key in it. And I don't know if I need any other keys, because... I mean, past the two I already have. Here we go. Hang on. No! I hit the wrong button. There we go. There we go. I killed it that time. That's from the third dungeon. Where you get the Pegasus boots. And... Additional mini... Oh, shoot. I should not have picked this. Because I remember this. And it sucked. Ow, get off of me. There we go. I remember this is from the color dungeon. Obvious. Well, I say obviously. It's not that obvious. I literally have played the color dungeon uh, once because uh, when I played the original Game Boy version of this game was is what I have. I don't have the DX version, which is... Uh, my, my friend did, but I did not have it. So there's a chest in this room. But I don't know if this is the last chest or not, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Just in case it is. Not the last chest, but 20 rupees. Now, I think I can kill this guy when he's looking right at me with the fire rod. Normally, you have to hit him when he's not looking at you, the shy guys. But... There we go. Okay, final key. Of course, we're, we're fighting the second boss. We're not... It's not like we're playing a particularly hard boss here. But I do think I used a room from every single dungeon, potentially. But I don't know that for a fact, because I actually don't remember where they all came from. Now, that's why I put that one there. It's because I knew it had that in it. Just in case they needed hearts before we fought the second boss of the game. Nope. Just curious. Oh, I also have the level 2 sword. I forgot to mention that.
Well, I know. I really wish the game hadn't told you how to do that. Because it didn't in the Game Boy version of the game. Now, maybe it added in the DX version. I don't know. But I know that I had to get help from my uncle on how to beat it. Um, because I had no idea. And there we go. I hate this part. I mean, that part wasn't that difficult. It's the waiting that I don't like. The part where I tear him apart with my level 2 sword. That part wasn't so hard. Alright, let's see what I get. Because you usually get stuff. What a show. There were times I swear you had one foot in the grave. No, wasn't even close. They're like that. Is there something from my collection in exchange? So I got a new chamber. Want you to give me a new challenge. Ready whenever you want. So I just, I'm just i going to look at what the next challenge is, but we're not going to do it. Fill up your hearts. Oh, it's a smaller one. What does this say? Oh, I have to fill every single tile. Okay. Now, of course, you can use an amiibo, and I think spawn in Shadow Link, who will chase you through the entire dungeon, which I think adds a different kind of element to it, that uh, I don't have any amiibos to try it out, but I don't think I'd want to even if I did. So this was a dungeon building mode. I am actually planning on playing the whole game on the channel. I just wanted to kind of play it for myself first, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it in hero mode, which is the harder version that they introduced uh, in a couple of different Zeldas they've had harder modes. This has been The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.